actor Idris Elba met with the Ghanaian president to pitch his plan for building a film studio in the West African country, my father's homeland. I love him. I love you. There's a lot to love. I love your dad, too. The memory of your dad, too. I love him, too. Elba sees the potential for major productions in Ghana, but cites a lack of resources as a hindrance. Now, he is calling for government support in Africa's film industry, citing successful models in South Africa and Europe. Elba plans to shoot part of a new movie in Ghana, starting pre-production in August and official filming in December. The project is a part of Elba's larger initiative to develop Africa's film industry following his roles in films such as Beast of No Nation and Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. Alba also has plans to build a studio in Tanzania, and he has just elevated um, you know, the, the, you know, there's this, you know, of, of course he started as an actor and most of us saw him in the wire, um, but just the elevation and expansion. I mean, you know, he might pop up on my Spotify playlist because he's a, he's a DJ and he does a little rapping and what he does behind the camera, his philanthropy, along with his gorgeous wife. I'm just into Idris Elba. And now it's, it's, it's moved from, oh my God, heartthrob to come on, sir. I mean, just make, make this world a better place. We appreciate it. And I think that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, you know, what a rich legacy mm-hmm. he is building. Yeah. And, you know, just another reminder, you know, that, you know, black folks exist around the world mm-hmm. and, and that there are opportunities around the world to make black lives matter. And he's doing that in Ghana. He's doing that in Tanzania. He's doing that here in the United States. Mm-hmm. There's no limitation. Uh, to doing your part to making Black Lives Matter. And so what a powerful demonstration we see in Idris Elba and and so many others. I mean, we've talked about the work that Meek Mill's doing in places mm-hmm. like Ghana. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, there, there are a number of celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey, who's been very active in her philanthropy, particularly uh, focused on women and girls in South Africa. Mm-hmm. And so we want to continue to make sure we're bringing you uh, these stories uh, to remind all of our soulmates to dream big. Yeah, and it, and it starts on the block. And I tell a lot of my mentees, it starts right, you know, to start right, right where you are. So with that in mind, it starts on the block. But I also try to uh, enlighten them and show them and expose to them that the world is bigger than the block. Both of you, uh, both of us come from families who we had folks who spoke different languages and have That's accents right. in our family. So we were a little, you know, familiar with that. But for, for some for some folks, especially the young people that I mentor, they just don't know what, what exists outside of their block or their community. So that's very important, more of a worldly perspective, especially with things being so global, with everything so global nowadays. They have to also tap into whatever else is going on mm-hmm. uh, in the world, really. And you really remind me of something one of my mentors once said, Willis Edwards, who was on the national board of the NAACP. He was a mentor to me and a number of other folks at the NAACP chapter on the campus of USC. Mm-hmm. And one thing that he taught us, an organizing principle he taught us that still sticks with me, do what you can from where you are Hmm. with what you have. And folks like Idris Elba and Oprah and ordinary folks across the country and around the world are doing exactly that to make black black lives matter. And so we love to see it. You know what else we love to see? Hmm. Golden State Warriors superstar Steph Curry, but he may be missing significant court time after suffering an injury in the team's win over the Dallas Mavericks on Saturday. Curry left the game in the third quarter with a knee injury after colliding with a Mavericks player, an MRI confirmed partial tears to his superior uh, tibio uh, fibular you ligaments. Better, you better say it. Uh, and uh, a membrane and a contusion <laughs> to his lower leg, all those things yeah. that uh, medical professionals know much better than I do. Uh, the team announced that Curry will miss Monday's game against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, the return timeline will be announced in the coming days. Now, Coach Steve Kerr says that Curry will be out for a bit, but will come back this season. And so, fingers crossed, yeah. hopefully sooner rather than later. Let's hope for the best. You sound like Dr. Corte, MD. <laughs> Very nice. I'm a different kind of doctor, okay. not that doctor. Don't let's, get me caught up. Let's move on to the NASCAR world as uh, Bubba Wallace supports Ryan Vargas after online criticism. The 22-year-old Hispanic driver faced criticism after announcing his NASCAR NASCAR Xfinity and Truck Series participation. He was born with craniosynthosis. Uh, he responded to the hate on Twitter, and then Wallace retweeted and told Vargas to quote, "Forget them, 
Bubba Wallace leads the way as the first black driver to take the lead in a Daytona 500 lap. Despite facing discrimination, he received, he received praise from Dale Earnhardt Jr. for speaking out on important social issues in the world of NASCAR. With support from Wallace and others, Vargas is a two-time winner of the Wendell Scott Trailblazer Award with 67 Xfinity uh, Series races. All right, Courtney, Bacardi and Jay-Z have ended their dispute over Ducey's valuation, reaching a long-term agreement to keep producing the popular cognac. Uh, Bacardi now owns a majority interest in Ducey instead of purchasing Jay-Z's 50% stake. The partnership, which began over a decade ago, has resulted in several awards for the cognac brand, including double gold at the 2021 San Francisco World Spirits Competition and 2022 Proof Awards. The disagreement started when Jay-Z's liquor company filed a lawsuit seeking access to Ducey's financial records. Court documents show the company was valued at $3 billion. Wow, if I do say so myself. Mm. All right, so maybe Chris Brown had a little bit too much do say uh, as he is now apologizing for his social media tirade. It was just a fit. After losing a Grammy Award, Brown was up for best R&B album. It went to uh, extraordinary musician Robert Glasper instead. He then posted on IG asking who in the you know what is Glasper. Later, the 33 year old singer posted a screenshot of a DM to Glasper congratulating him for his win and apologizing. Brown said after he did his research, he thinks Glasper is amazing. Let me tell you something, you know, I'm, I'm a music aficionado. Talk about instrumentation, musicality, uh, instrumentation, and all of the uh, collaborations and his body of work. Robert Glasper is, is one of the top of, of, of my generation. Five Grammys, 11 nominations, over eight categories You know, in, in the Grammys. He's not just a, a one uh, pony show, if you will. Uh, he's worked with your fave, Kendrick Lamar, Anderson Pac, my new boyfriend, I love him. <laughs> um, my girl, Lettucey, Layla, uh, uh, Common. And, you know, Twitter kind of went, went nuts on, on Chris for saying what he said. And one of the comments that, that I really appreciated in regards to Chris Brown's uh, temper tantrum, he said, this, this Twitter tweet said, uh, it's an example of when you grow old but never grow up. So I hope Chris has really learned his lesson. I hope that apology is sincere. Get it together, Chris. We love you, but you got to keep it and get it, get it and keep it together, sir. Uh, get it and keep it together. <laughs> I want to double click on that. And it's also a cautionary tale that reminds us, think before you post. Mm. You know, he was clearly all up in his feelings uh, because he didn't win. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, we can't let the hateration um, become contagious, you know, and, and, and take to the digital world. And, you know, what, um, what a sure way to attempt to dampen uh, the moment that Robert was ha ha having. Uh, but it seems like Robert and his team weren't playing, paying Chris Brown no. any attention. They weren't, mm -hmm. they weren't giving him any attention. Um, and uh, it seems like Chris Brown came to his attention. But folks, think before you post. You don't want to dampen somebody's moment. Indeed. Because somebody just might do it to you. All right, up next, more black excellence inside of the pageant world. That's right, we'll introduce you to Ms. Wheelchair USA 2023. When we return, you're watching Foxhole's Black Report.